from WSH that is work from home at Kamas. A warm welcome to my channel friends. Today on public demand I am going to show you Goan traditional desert known as Mangane. Raksha Bandhan is approaching so today's Mangane is Raksha Bandhan special recipe. This desert is prepared by using Chana Dal that is Bengal gram, Jaggery and coconut milk. Please watch my recipe till the end friends as I am going to show you some important tips in between. So friends come on let's start with the recipe. Let us start with the ingredients. I have taken one such cup of Bengal gram or chana dal which I have soaked for around 3 to 4 hours. Then I have taken the same measure, one fourth cup of sago or sabudana, which I have again soaked for three to four hours. I have taken one and a half cup of freshly grated coconut. Then some few pieces of coconut, which I have cut into pieces. Then this is salt to taste, cashew nuts to garnish. And I have taken four cardamoms and a small piece of nutmeg. Now let me tell you something. I have soaked this for around 3 to 4 hours and this water which is there in the chana dal, this water needs to be drained off before I boil the chana because if I boil the uh, chana dal in this water then there are chances of getting bloated. So it is always advised to throw this water and then boil this chana or the chana dal or the Bengal gram with fresh water. Then one more uh, important tip, when you prepare any dessert with jaggery it is advised that you add nutmeg to enhance the flavor nutmeg you know enhances the flavor of any dessert which is made in jaggery one more tip is if you add salt to the dessert it enhances the taste of the dessert you get the right taste you get the right flavors of the dessert when you add salt in it normally salt people don't add but i add salt in the swedish which contains jaggery mostly so now this is as I told you, this is one cup of uh, chana, chana dal or Bengal gram. So equal amount of jaggery I have taken. And one fourth, one fourth of the chana dal I have taken sago. Then this is one and half. Please remember the quantity to get the perfect mangane as we prepare it in Goa. So friends, now let us start with the process. See, I have drained the water from the uh, Bengal gram and I am transferring this into the kadai. Now let us add water, you shouldn't add much water, you can see how much quantity of water I am adding, see, only this much of water. In case you feel that the Bengal gram isn't cooked rightly then you can add in some more hot water, you should add hot water not cold water later on. One more thing friends, this can be, this process you know you can skip it and you can do it in the cooker also if you are in a hurry and all. But I am doing it on the gas, in a kadhai because what happens is if you do the process this way, you can check if the chana dal is rightly done. Or sometimes, you know, it depends on the quality of the chana dal. Sometimes the chana dal uh, cooks very fast and then when you remove it from the uh, cooker, you will see it has become mashy sort of. So if you do it by this process, you can check the uh, how it is, you know, done, whether it has become too much soft or whether it is cooked rightly. So now let us carry on the further process. I am putting on the gas. The gas on high. Let this cook rightly. Till then let us do the further process. Now we need to extract the coconut milk. So let us transfer this grated coconut into the mixer. And put a little bit of water. Water shouldn't be added in much quantity, just a little bit of water. And let us grind this. Now this shouldn't be ground to a very fine paste. It should be coarsely ground and this thick coconut milk should be extracted first and later on the thin coconut milk. So first now let us have the thick coconut milk. So now let us extract the thick coconut milk. See, not much of water you should put and it should be the thick extract of the coconut milk. See how I am straining it. So 
so see i have extracted the coconut milk and this is the first thick extract of the coconut milk and see this is the residue of the coconut now i am going to again put in some water and again extract the milk now this will form the second part of the coconut milk so let us do it again let us put some water this time you can put a little bit of more water see i have added little more water now and now i am going to again grind it in the mixer so now let us strain the thin extract of the coconut milk see this is watery you can see this is the watery extract this you need to repeat it one more time nicely squeeze the coconut and again put it in the mixer tightly squeeze it see it is running watery so see i have repeated the process one more time and this is the residue of the grated coconut i have extracted the coconut milk totally and this residue is to be discarded let us check if the chana dal is done it is half done so when it is half done at this point let us add in the coconut pieces because they should also be well cooked and the jaggery let us add the jaggery let us give it a stir let the jaggery the coconut pieces and the chana dal be cooked properly let us check it once more no it's not done let them cook properly now i will add in the second coconut extract which is the thin coconut milk see this is the thin coconut milk let us add in and let this cook properly now let the chana dal cook almost 3/4 when i had before putting this coconut milk it was half done now it should cook almost 3/4 the gas on medium high when the bengal gram is on the verge of getting cooked add in the sago and give it a stir otherwise the sago will stick at the bottom so you should stir it nicely and let the sago cook along with the bengal gram and the coconut pieces in the thin extract of the coconut milk soon then add in the cashew nut pieces and give it a stir let us check if the sago is cooked yeah it is cooked now how you can understand if the sago is cooked the white sago turns transparent see you can see it's turned transparent that means the sago is cooked and now it is the time to add the thick extract of the coconut milk so now let us just stir it a bit because you know it settles down so let us stir it a bit and now i am adding it in this and now i am stirring this so that the extract is rightly absorbed in the dessert i'll give it a slight boil not much just a slight boil now i'm going to add in the cardamom and the nutmeg powder and give it a stir just a slight boil just a slight boil and now i'm putting off the gas and last i'm going to add in the salt just a little bit of salt because the salt should be added at the end of the recipe because if you add it when you are adding the thick extract you know there are chances of the dessert getting curdling up so you should add the salt towards the end now i am just giving it a nice stir and this goan dessert mangane which is made of bengal gram and sago is ready to be served so now let us serve it so i am serving it 
सो द गोवन डेजर्ट मनगणे इज रेडी टू बी सर्व सो इफ यू हैव लाइक माय रेसिपी प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग